Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at mail for the iPad. So let's take a look at mail. Now, mail's really meant to be looked at in horizontal mode. It looks much better here. You can see your messages here on the left from the mailbox you're looking at. So we're looking at the inbox now. You can see them pretty clearly here. You can see your message on the right. So we can select a message here. We can see it. We can look at some more details. We can do various things with it like put it into a another mailbox here. And then if I had a different one, say saved or archived, I could just tap on it and it would jump into it. I could of course trash it. I could reply or forward. So if I reply to this, it will bring up a message here and the horizontal keyboard, another reason to have mail in horizontal mode. And you can type your message here and click send. Uh, you can also compose a new message. Same thing except that you enter in your two here and you could hit a plus and pick from the names in your contacts. You can also just start typing the email address. You can search your inbox and you can also tap edit here and then say pick out several and you can see it's stacking them over here and I can hit delete or I can group move them which is very nice. You can see I can go back to the folder level but also then go back to the accounts level. So I got a multiple accounts, lots of them here. So I can have my Gmail, uh, Yahoo email, uh, several different regular POP or IMAP accounts there as well. And anytime I want I can tap here to update all the accounts. I can see when it's last been updated as well. I assume that's specific now to this account right here. Now of course settings is where you set up an email account. So to do that I'll go to mail contacts and calendars and I can see my existing accounts here. I can tap add account and I have all these choices. So if I choose anything but other it's going to give me a very specific uh, dialogue here. Like for instance if I choose Gmail uh, it'll ask me for my Gmail information and you can figure it all out from there. Mobile me, same kind of thing. So if you have one of these accounts it's pretty easy. But if you have a traditional email account then you would simply tap that and you can add an account. Notice you can also add a contacts LDAP account and two different types of calendar accounts as well. But to add a mail account you would do this and then you would enter the name of the account. After you do this you'll be asked to enter in your server uh, information including whether or not it's POP or IMAP as uh, the iPad supports both. So you can see I can edit an account by tapping here and it will bring up information about it. You can see all the information there including advanced settings and advanced settings about mailbox behaviors, what to do with deleted messages, um, security settings, things like that. So definitely mail is an easy program to use. It's very quick to be able to read and answer your emails but it's not very powerful. For instance there is no unified inbox if you have multiple email addresses. Now it looks like that's going to be taken care of in the fall for the iPad with the iPhone OS 4.0. So we have that to look forward to. Hope you found this look at mail for the iPad useful. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.